Now stay tuned for the return of Shannon's Deal on NBC. Tonight on Shannon's Deal, Jack falls for a lady whose gambling ex-husband is withholding child support. Family law is not my field. And to win the case, Jack goes back to an old addiction. I hang with a gambler, you gotta gamble. Good case, good cause, bad strategy. Now, how far will one man go? We're gonna nail him. For the woman he loves. Leave the cards and the money here. I can't. Then I quit. The answer tonight. We lost, Jack. On yeah. Shannon's deal. I thought I was a big shot. Big money, big house, big car. I thought I held all the cards. I thought I could pick the winner every time. I thought I could smell it. But the whole thing was built on garbage. I treated my wife badly, and I knew it, and I didn't stop. One day, she walked. She took my daughter with her. I started gambling big time. Crazy stuff. Long shot stuff. I turned into the kind of man I'd grown up hating. Making the big bucks and being made a partner wasn't enough to buy that off. I'm just kind of starting from scratch again, trying to keep things low pressure. Sexually insecure? Yawn. Boy. She'll be putty in your hands. <laughs> Jack, I'd like you to meet my son, Mac. Hey, I'm Mac. This is my Mr. daughter. Mr. Ray Riley? Yes? You are hereby served with a notice of eviction. This here's a three-day pay-or-quit notice. If you don't pay, you'll have to appear in court. If you don't but, show... Excuse me. If you don't show, I'll have to post a writ of possession on your door. Go on, kids. Go inside. You'll have five days to vacate. <sighs> so, bring him along on all your dates? <laughs> I guess I've always loved to paint. I've been doing it since I was in the high chair, you know. Now if I could just find a way to make some money doing it. Well, enough about me. So, did anything terrible happen to you lately? <laughs> nah, I can't kick. Barrett, you okay? Yeah. Barrett, just uh, imagine for about five minutes that I'm your attorney. I'm not your client, Shannon. I'm your date. What are you going to do about this eviction notice? Little Anthony. You know, we could uh, stall the eviction proceedings a little while, buy a little time. What about your ex? Isn't he paying child support? No. Why not? Doesn't he have a job? I married a professional gambler. I thought it was romantic. For a while, it was. You know, you can go to the DA for back support. Look, I went to the DA. Forget it. 
Peter moves around a lot. He hides his income. He's got money, but they'll never find it. It's a lost cause. There it is, Briley, Peter J. Income tax returns show 11,000 in 88, 10,340 in 89. No real estate, no other declared assets. Doesn't look like this guy has anything. According to my client, he's a very successful gambler. Doesn't look like it here. That's because he's hiding income. In any case, he's in flagrant violation of the court-ordered settlement, $350 per child per month. If the guy's got wages, Mr. Shannon, we can attach him. If he's got assets, we can confiscate. But if he's hiding income and he's good at it, well, we're not really set up for that here. You're going to take me to dinner and a play, and it's in New York? It's your birthday. Yeah, but not my coronation. So what play? Here's one, Love and Pastrami. A wonderfully urbane show, mixing social satire, Olympian tragedy, and raucous humor in a postmodern blend. What does that mean? It means you don't want to see it. So I'll send a limo for you around five. Dad, a limo? Jack, a limo? What the hey? Only 15 once? <laughs> well, my birthday's coming up. You want to rent a limo, take me to dinner, pay me? <laughs> right. Um, I spoke to uh, Gardner's secretary. They're running uh, Briley through the parental locator system, but they won't get anything until the end of the week. Does that mean you finally got a paying job, Dad? <clears throat> Listen, honey, take the paper. Let me know when you decide which one you want to see. Oh. What right did you have to talk to the district attorney about me? Look, Barrett, it's wrong. If he's got money, he should pay. I think you have a case. I told you. It's a lost cause. Well, I'm Irish. I can't pay you. I know. Look, I know how crazy these things can get. There's no excuse for not paying, but what is his excuse anyway? He lives by a simple code. The world is divided into us and them. I left with the kids, we became them. He hasn't paid a penny in three years. If we find any attachable assets, a car, a bank account, a diamond, uh, real estate, stocks, anything, it's yours. You have any idea what he's got? Even when we were married, I, I, I never knew where the money went. I don't have to find out. I would suggest the primitive approach. Bamboo under the fingernails? Thumb screws? I'll just have to go out and find him. Talk to him. See what he's got. You have any idea where I can find him? Well in town is simple. Just look for a poker table and a lot of green. Yeah, I know. He's a player? Yeah, definitely. Of some uh, recent local renown. Where can I find him? You don't want to find him, Sandy. You need too large to sit down where you can find him. What's that? May I remind you what uh, we are doing here today, speaking? Don't worry, I got the money. Good. Just can't pay you today. Let me understand this. You want me to tell you the location of a high stakes poker game, but you don't want to pay me the three large you promised? Wilma, I want to pay you, and I will tomorrow. Now, where the hell is this guy? It's important. Madame Delors, a fortune teller on Front Street. Why don't you step? The big game's in the bank. Five card drawer in Texas Hold'em, $200 minimum. 24 hours! Jack, so I'm going to you, sir. I'm okay here. Hey, Jack, how are you? Hey, Jack, how are you? Little money's in the back room. 
Hi, Jack. Long time. Hey, Benny. Heard you quit, Jack. What are you doing? Recruiting for the GA? I still got time for a game now, man. Hey, Jack. Hey, Jack. I can open for three. See the three. Call three. Three cards. I'm out. Six. I call. Show me what you got. You in? I'll just uh, watch for a little while if you don't mind. Now, this room's for players. Kibitzers and IRS agents outside. Well, deal me in. Jack Shannon. Peter Riley. Five, card, draw poker. Jack's a better to open. Let's play poker. Uh. Tough way to make an easy living, huh? <laughs> Not a bad night. Cards ran over me. You had a big win. Broke even. <laughs> Nothing like undeclared income, huh? I'm obsessed with it. What are you gonna do with your winnings? Give them mine to Little Sisters of the Poor. <laughs> are you angling? I can get you into an overseas account. Uncle Sam will never find it. You are angling. I'll catch you around the tables. Hey, could you give me a lift? A Dino's in the shop. A Ferrari? Yeah. You're bluffing me again. Well, it worked before. Not on me. Hop in. Thanks. So, people give their money to a guy that rides the bus? Yeah. I don't gamble with other people's money. <laughs> right. Really? What's he like? Barrett can't make rent. He runs around town in a $125,000 Italian automobile. Jack, you need to shave bad, and you smell like an ashtray. Where have you been? Madame Dolores. Madame Dolores? It's a card club. He won 10 grand last night. He tells me he broke even. OK. We got a 1990 Testarossa, Pennsylvania plates, WBA247. Go down to the DMV and get a DDL history. If he owns it, we're in business. If he's leasing, get a contract from the leasing company. Also, do a TRW credit check. I call Gardner at the DA's office. Ask him why we haven't heard anything about that parental locator system yet. And see if he can find a rap sheet, any kind of alias. And, uh. Bankus. What's this? That's $6,000. So, you got him to pay something? I want it. Now, if you could stay in any hotel in Philly, where would you stay? Jack, you Sweet at the Ritz, right? Find out if Peter's registered. If he's not, call around town till you find him. We need to know where he is so we can slap him with a subpoena. OK, whatever you say. If you want to know all about a guy, if you want to know how much money he's got and where he keeps it, you got to hang with him. Want to hang with a gambler, you got to gamble. Good case, good cause, bad strategy. I finally put the kids down. Happy times, daycare center wouldn't take them because they were both sick, so I had to bring it to work with me. Amelia's a walking Petri dish. Germs just love her. Of course, 
Whatever she gets, Matt gets too. Here. I like this. This I like. What is it? Supernaturalism? <laughs> well, it's not finished. I got good news. I found your ex. Good news? You're right, he's got money. I found him right where you said I'd find him, at a poker table. I watched him win 10 grand last night. What are you doing? Max got asthma. I don't know where he keeps his money stashed, but he's got plenty of it. He drives around in a red Lamborghini, leased. A white Testarossa. Lucy also found out that he's got a room at the Ritz. He's pretty slick, but sooner or later, we're going to find a bank account or some attachable assets, and we're going to nail him. Now, I got lucky last night. I won. You played cards with Peter? It's the only way to get to know him. Jack. Anyway. I'd like to make you a loan of a couple of grand. Just until we can get him to pay something. I'm allergic to gamblers, largesse. Jack, some friends have offered to, to put me and the kids up. It's gonna be okay. Thanks. Just don't gamble anymore, okay? Seventh row center, kid. Holding them right here in my hot little hand. I thought we'd go to Elaine's for dinner afterwards. Or do you want to go to the Hard Rock Cafe? No, 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 no. Elaine sounds great. We'll rap with Woody and Mia. <laughs> Dad, lose the limo. You're spending too much money already. That's what it's for. I know, I know. That's what I think. But Mom says no. She's dropping me off at the station. What time? OK. Five sharp. Tell your mother the train leaves at 5.20. Yeah? I'm really excited. So am I, honey. See you then. I don't know. Maybe it's too sweet. You think she'll like it? If she doesn't, I'll wear it. She'll love it. Gardner ran another check. Briley's got no credit cards under his name, no known alias, no bank accounts. He is your average, irresponsible, cash-and-carry, pleasure-seeking sociopath. Didn't you date a guy like that? No, Jack. I've got you. You know, I don't know what I can do here that's legal. This guy's out there with $10,000, $20,000 in his pocket. Who knows how much more in a safe at the Ritz. There's nothing I can do. If I hit him with a subpoena to show up in court and explain why he's not paying child support, I give him time to hide everything he's got. Or leave town. Right. If you don't mind me interjecting, can't the district attorney arrest his miscreant on charges of non-payment of child support and impound whatever money he may have until a judgment is rendered? It's not a criminal case. He can't even be arrested for not paying child support. See, this is why I have no respect for the law. Uh, can I have a word with you, uh, Jack? <clears throat> If I may be so bold, the word out on the street is that you are uh, back at the tables. The boy said you had a big win. Wasn't so big. Happy? <laughs> Mr. Testa says that your payment should be commensurate with your winnings. Where's the rest of it? You're keeping out of stake? Lucy had to pay some bills. I'll have some more for you by the end of the week. One must resist the siren's call of self-destruction, Jack. No matter how seductive. What's going on, Pete? Hey. 
Looks like we scared off the local talent. Well, it's always head to head. Save your money. Maybe someday you'll have enough to buy a car. Come on, I'll buy you a drink. Grill National Chemicals is coming out of Chapter 11. I can get you 17% on a bond that'll double in six weeks. 30 grand minimum buy-in. Don't con a con, man. Pete, I want to buy a car just like yours. How am I going to do that if you don't give me any commissions? 17%? No tax? No paper trail? I'm already getting 25. That's why I drive and you take the bus. You want a drink? No, I don't drink. Well, come on, let's get out of here. Let's find some action. 25%? What, do you own MasterCard? <laughs> it's got to be high risk. No risk. Ah. Uh. Salvation just walked in the door. God, how I love the medical profession. Yeah? Uh, I should be getting back. Listen, I played with these guys before, the chubby pediatrician, a live one. Big money on the table. Come on. Oh. Okay, so I'm a little late. Can you reschedule with Bradley? I already did. He said he'd rather see you in hell than let you handle his case. Don't break my shoes, Lucy. I'm here. You talk like a gambler. You miss appointments like a gambler, but you're not a gambler, right? You are conducting an undercover investigation. You are in trouble, Jack Shannon. As soon as we find assets, we'll slap the SOB with a writ of attachment. Until then, I gotta get his confidence. Did the, uh... PLS for Briley come through yet? Yeah, there's no phone or utility charges, uh, no voter registration, but he did find a P.O. box in Tampa, Florida. Good. Call the tax assessor. See if he's on the tax rolls as a property owner. I already did. How about the chemical companies? Did he go for it? Nah. <laughs> he says he's already making 25%. No risk. Where the hell is a guy like that going to get 25%? You're in denial. I deny I'm in denial. Do you have to hit bottom again before you do something? I'm not going to hit bottom. Hi. Hi. Long time. Are you expecting someone? Who's a lucky guy? What do you want, Peter? I don't know. I was in town. You look terrific. Good night, Peter. Hey, can I at least see the kids? The kids are asleep. It's past 11. Well, can I just look at them? I mean, I'm leaving town in a couple of days. <sighs> moving out, huh? Uh, yeah, um, moving out. Kids down the hall? Kids, thanks. Cute kids? We're being evicted, Peter. I can't do anything about that. I'm broke. Broke? How much money you got in your pocket right now? Five thousand? I'll take it. You seeing somebody, Barrett? Get him to pay. You drive a Testarossa. <laughs> you have a suite at the Ritz, Peter. Who told you what I drive? You owe us $26,600. Pay up. You can have everything. Just say the word. 
You think it doesn't hurt me to see you living like this? You're choosing poverty for yourself and my kids. Yeah. Take or leave it. All or nothing. That's still the deal, huh, Peter? Get out. You tell your boyfriend to watch out. Tonight, Barrett. I'm taking Neela to New York for her birthday. Yeah, dinner, show, everything. Yeah, it'll be great. Okay, I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Where are you going? That was Barrett. Peter's leaving town. I'm going with you. I don't need a chaperone, Lucy. Look, I tell people that I work for the best lawyer in town, and I do, but I don't work for no card sharps. If you want to take Peter Briley mano a mano, that's fine, man. But leave the cards and the money here. I can't. Then I quit. out, no limit, hold them. We'll pay for the table. How much would you like? Ten. We'll start with five. Five for this gentleman? Five for this gentleman. You be sure and count them, Dominic. You bet you, Jack. OK, gentlemen. No limit, hold Respect to you, sir. This gentleman votes 400. This gentleman calls 400. Ace. That's a thousand. Okay, you pulled the ace. Two aces on the board, and I'm betting you got one in the pocket. A thousand to you, sir. Please, Lord, float down a low card on the river. No face cards, Lord, no paint. Gentlemen, calls. Jack. Oh. Uh. Twelve hundred to you, sir. You got a jack in the hole, Peter. You telling me you got a jack, an ace, and a jack in the hole? Twelve hundred to you, sir. I gotta call you, Pete. Show me. Full house on the river. I'll take a win anyway. I can get it, Jack. A bad beat is fine with me. What's the matter, Jack? Did I ruin your plans for the evening? 
You already thinking how grateful Barrett's gonna be when you laid your winnings on her? Neela. Hey, where are you going, Jack? Don't you want to ask me about my assets, huh? I got a couple of bank accounts, some condos, some resources. Try to attach a man. Because in Texas and Florida, a man's business is a man's business. You lost, Jack. Barrett's not going to get a dime. This isn't about Barrett. The money's for your kids. Who the hell are you? The big hero who comes to set things straight? The thing is, Jack, it's about winning or losing. You're the same as me. You just don't have the guts to admit it. Yeah, Pete, you're the king. The car, the clothes, you got nothing. That's right. She left me. I couldn't boil water. I love her, man. And I'm not going to pay her to see you. still salvage the night. We can go out and have a nice birthday dinner. I want to go to birthday dinner. I just want to go home. There he is. No. I don't have much time. A neighbor's watching the kids. It's move day. Barroom brawl? Yeah. Shaving mishap. Peter called last night. I guess this case was perfect. You could play poker all night and pretend to be working. I love to play poker, Barrett. I like to lay my money down. I like to find out. Sometimes you find out things you wish you didn't have to know. What'd you find out, Jack? Well, I spent most of last night wondering what level of hell I belong in. I 
forgot Neil at the train station. We never made it to New York. Oh, God, Jack. Well, Peter says I'm just like him. Maybe he's right. Peter's full of it. I wanted to believe you. I pretended you weren't going to play poker, even though I knew you were lying. I wanted to win the girl, slay the dragon. <laughs> you already had the girl. I was ready to make different mistakes with you, Jack. But I don't have the heart to make the same ones. Bye, Jack Shannon. <laughs> you take care, okay? Hey, you too. The nose you dropped five grand. Don't look so good, especially when you own 55 large. It looks like you don't respect them. I don't respect them, I'm afraid of them. This is serious, pal, you understand? You told me to break something. You gotta put some money down. you black and you played me for a chump i thought you were a good man trying to rectify your past mistakes a man with the intestinal fortitude to start over i don't see that man no more all i see is a nothing nowhere gambler who's betting money he don't got you catch my drift yeah i get it what i don't get is how i left my daughter on a train platform for two hours How the hell is Peter Riley copping 25% on his money? You know something about that, Wilmer? Wilmer? I don't know what I don't know. I know you owe money, and I want it tomorrow. Well, Riley wouldn't give his money to test it, would he? I'm not going to indulge in such wild speculation. Riley takes his money to Testa. Testa puts it out on the street. That's how he gets his 25%. Am I right? The bastard loan sharks. Take me to Testa. I'm not going to take you to Testa. Why should I take you to Testa? Because he has money that belongs to Peter's wife and kids. I think you ought to know that. You old Jack, forget about Testa. Bring me the money tomorrow. You tell your boss I'm not paying him anything. Not until he talks to me. If you want to get yourself killed, fine. Do not bring me into it. Do it yourself. Happy birthday. Oh, it's beautiful. <laughs> Come on, let's try it on. Here, let me help. Oh, you're gonna look so pretty. You're still angry at you know who? I can't blame you. He was a jerk for leaving you at the station. He was playing cards, wasn't he? Honey, it wasn't just the cards. It, he was on a mission. He, he was trying to help somebody. Lucy, come on. Stop making excuses for him. I know what was going on. You know, he gets this look in his eyes. It's. It's like he's looking into this long tunnel. It's scary. Yeah, I, I know that look. I hate it. I hate those cards. 
I don't, I don't understand what's so great about them. I know, honey, but he's your dad, and he loves you more than anything in the world. He's trying really hard. Yeah, you know, he's called me, but I haven't returned any of his calls. So what are we gonna do? I don't know. Yeah, you do. Right? Who's the girl? That's his daughter, Mila. He's cut. You do that? He shows you disrespect. He's gonna get hurt. I don't like it, but sometimes you're gonna get out the hammer. Yo, Shannon! Man's in back. Make it quick. You got 60 seconds. I got a client named Barrett Briley. He's got two young kids. He hasn't received a liquor child support in three years. I know. 50 seconds. Her ex-husband's a player. A business associate of yours. So what? So I'm gonna slap a subpoena on you and Briley, and the two of you can explain your relationship in court. I could kill you. I know you could kill me. These kids, they're Briley's? Yeah. Is she a good mother? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Go. Hello, Jack. How are you doing? Yes? Coffee, please? What I owe you? It's on the house. No, no, I'll give you this as a tip. This is yours. Gambling winnings? Just steal it? What the hell is it then? And why are you showing it to me? I'm showing it to you because it's yours. It's $36,000. 38 months back child support plus $10,000 advance on money's owed. It's not real. It was real. I don't believe it. I was there when he paid. What'd you do to him? Nothing. <laughs> I didn't touch him. He's fine. He got on the plane to Miami yesterday afternoon. Okay. A good friend of mine had a little conversation with Peter. A friend? His methods of collection are more basic than the DA's. Peter understood them better. <sighs> what about you? I haven't paid you anything. I've been taken care of. See ya. Yeah, yeah. See ya. Thanks. Hi. I just came to pick up my stuff. You know, these healthy balls have been used since the Tang Dynasty to uh, adjust the cerebral nerve center, restore the spirit, cure nervous prostration, and relieve stress. They're not working too good. Look, I'm not gonna beg, Lucy. What do you need? You need a raise, you need 
Medical insurance, you need early retirement. No, not that. You already took that. I'll do anything, Lucy. I swear. Why don't you try asking me? Will you come back, Lucy? Please? No. Not permanently. On a trial basis. One day at a time. You gamble, I go. Deal? Deal. Unless you want to make a double or nothing. against drunk driving. They're raising millions of dollars for a good cause, but where is that money going? I'm Tom Brokaw, the story on Expose, Sunday. Who is listening in on your phone conversations? Your cordless calls could be your neighbor's entertainment. I'm Jane Pauley. See how easy eavesdropping can be on Real Life, Sunday. For your hopes run dry and love is said bye-bye There's other fish to 